Welcome everybody, this is your strategy wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3, our Japanese Empire and Emperor Yamato Komei, he's getting really old, 71 already, in 1902. And the last episodes we were like preparing or facing our, let's say, yeah, end game crisis, too much to say, but what our plan for the next uh, or soon to come future, which is mainly correcting our efforts to correct the situation that Russia took these huge chunks here of southern Manchuria, like denying us any access to northern Manchuria. So probably want to try and get both um, yeah, southern Manchuria here and outer Manchuria from Russia. So that's kind of our task or our mission uh, for the years to come. Um, we are preparing the Japanese state to do so. However, um, yeah, there's a couple of things to mention. First of all, Russia has by far the biggest army out there. I'm still halfway surprised with their low GDP, how they're managing to pay them. Especially since um, having a look at their... Um, by the way, guys, if you don't, like, this is a way how to check for the technology. They're set up in the um, barracks. They do use also skirmish infantry, not all over the place. Here, for example, I saw line infantry as well, and with the Chinese, yeah. But in comparison to us, where we... There's some difference in the armor composition. Their artillery is quite um, outdated at this point, whilst uh, they're all using kind of bicycle messengers all over the place, which uh, is something we are not doing so far. Um, but if you want to have a look at our setup currently, we basically use still the cavalry scouts, but we use already machine gunners, which are mainly defensive units, unfortunately, but we do use the siege artillery already. So what we're trying to do is probably something what I'd want to start sooner, but actually we can like, why not doing it now? Let's introduce some bicycle messengers, because the main problem about this is the usage of more rubber and... Um, yeah, mainly the usage of rubber, which we don't really have in uh, abundance, but maybe then it opens up new trade routes or maybe the Vietnamese build up some rubber plantation. We just need to slowly see how it affects us. And yeah, I don't want to switch them all at once. Let's just see how this turns out in a, in a bit. Uh, yeah, okay, come on, two more, let's see. So bicycle messengers, talking about it. Um, yeah, so anyways, we are still like 500 battalions away from the Russian army size, even though we are extending also our barracks. We'll come to this in a short time, which leads me to the point we definitely should look out for some alliance partner over here. Um, both Austria and Germany both offer only 200 battalions, but they would open another front. The Ottomans 150. So we're gonna keep this, and I think we already get for an obligation, we would get the alliance with uh, basically both of them. Um, the Ottomans not yet, but still we're improving our relations. So actually, actually, I mean, they're rivals, that's the problem, right? Um, yeah, the problem is I, I kind of feel like if we ally with one of them, the other one is not gonna accept the alliance with us, but we shall see. So this is kind of one option. Apart from this, we will try to closely observe um, how Russia behaves. And so we might find Russia in a weak spot or uh, occupied with other people. So we might use this chance at another point. For this reason we also decided to drop the alliance with Brunei, what we did last term, even though it might have been a kind of blow for our prestige and our um, yeah, foreign affairs, but we didn't want to fight the Brits over Brunei. Um, so yeah, the French are supporting them and the Brits and the Americans because, sure, we are not so big fans of them and they should be aware of their influence in Asia. However, at the moment we clearly see Russia as our main opponent over here, which yeah has enjoys a lot of priority. Apart from this, we are also still expanding heavily in our um, economy. And let's have a quick look what we're about to do. But as you see already, oh, we're page 13. We're facing our heavy industries here with iron, coal, steel, uh, engines and so on. But at the same time, we realized that especially over here in uh, Chubu and Kansai, Kansai now too, okay, there were like really problems and un uh, unrest, turmoil. Uh, yeah, that's kind of sad to see. And it was mainly from our revolutionaries also coming from lower life standards, a problem in the standard of living. So we had quite high grocery or not super cheap grocery in grain prices and clothing prices. That's why we also started to yeah, invest here in the food industries a little bit more and we tried to heavily extend our rice farming in Guangdong in China. So 
while electrifying also. So yeah, we're trying to also have a look at our standard of living of our people to hopefully get this kind of... Um, I'm really surprised that it's only happening or mainly happening in these two provinces. I don't know where this is actually coming from. But yeah, we're really trying to get uh, yeah, face this, these problems with those guys. So yeah, before we want to uh, fight a bigger war, this should be kind of should be important to get our people happy. Otherwise, we can forget about it. And I think that's already enough for some pre words at this point. So let's just get in and see how the market price develops for us. The Braba already jumped quite high up. Um, yeah, then let's try to establish already some more rubber imports, even though there sh seems not like there's a lot of other options available. Yeah, glass. Yeah, and these are cl our classic problems over here, but nothing where we can really buy cheap. Let's have a quick look actually where we could... Yep, get some more iron, some... I will, I'm happy to avoid the Russians already, since, yeah, it's gonna drop so yeah the north german was a good one then some coal i think we can get some from belgium indeed some yeah some sulfur some lead also from belgium nice and also from germany some more let's take just the bigger amounts um maybe paper shouldn't be hard to Where we have the trade agreement, so some get some paper in, uh, and also maybe some hardwood from Belgium. Something is new with Belgium, I don't know. Did they open up or I don't know? And some sugar from Germany, okay. All right, this is a good um, baseline setup. Uh, let's see, okay, let's keep on going. They want to sway us by as I want to conquer Kutch. Where's Kutch? Here, they offered us this region, okay, we really helped them against the Brits. No, sorry, I'm not interested in territory in Pakistan right now, or in the border of India, Pakistan. So wait a second, I thought we declared neutrality. Wait, how did we... Alright, they called, oh, we still had an obligation for them. Oh gosh, apparently this drives us then. Okay, this is happening when you apparently sometimes are too easy about handing out obligations. So, looks like... Or oh, then we should have taken the Kush thing. Well, we have the French at least on our side, so... And they're still worried, maybe they give in. Trade agreement with the States, I, I'm happy to... Do that, because I hope it improves further our relations with them which were kind of problematic. And I don't want to get involved in this war, and this will heavily also influence our trade and so on, so I'm a little bit worried uh, about this one. Come on, Brunei, give in, give in, come on. Pessimistic. You would just be subjugated, rather not... Come on, Brunei, give in and not shed more blood. Uh. So at first they did that. Oh, they they swayed us with an idea, and then okay, that's how it goes apparently. First tried nicely, then used the application. Okay, come on, guys. I don't want to fight them. It's not worth the fight. Russia is neutral. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. I don't want to fight this one. Well, we'll see. I mean, worst case, there's nothing at stake for us, to be honest. So we can just stay passive, in my opinion, if the war breaks out soon. And, like, let them do. That's all I want to do, to be honest. Because I don't want to mobilize a lot of my army to just, in the end spend money or waste lives that we need in later wars what do we have over here sudanese egyptian yeah i couldn't kill that That's fine okay looks like they're not giving in 
board with. Okay. Oh god damn it. Probably oh opium gets super expensive now. What are the trade routes we do have with the English? Quite a lot. And with the Americans. Oh, only two. But it affects us a little bit, you already see. Can I just actually... I mean, this is a little bit cheesy. There's no walkout against me, so I don't want to fight this. I can just surrender, right? It's a little bit cheesy at the same time. I also didn't want to fight this war, so I feel like, sure, yeah, you can say it was the rules of the game with the obligation, but... I'm sneaking myself out of here. Lovely. I'm out, guys. Thank you very much. Do we still have the... Oh, gosh, we lost the trade agreement with them. That's a little unfortunate, though, but... Which also means higher, of course, higher... Um... Higher tax uh, toll income from them, but also higher costs, of course, here for the bureaucracy. So, the, which makes them basically all immediately over here, um, kind of, <laughs> yeah, takes them to the negative, uh, deficitial. What is? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Please back. What? What happened? Yeah, let's quit them all. Let's have a. Uh, this was maybe not the best move. I mean, I couldn't avoid it in the end. Let's see how this affects our market prices and then I'd readjust maybe in a day. Okay, opioids. I mean, oh, from the Incas? Okay. I mean, mainly from the Brits still. I guess they have the biggest offer in the end, but... This stuff. Rubber. Yeah, we need rubber. From the French. Coal. More from Belgium? Didn't we just buy this already? Glass. Oh, Belgium is a cool partner these days. Maybe you can get actually an uh, agreement with the Belgians. Tunisian. Uh, I feel like there's also a couple of new markets and something collapsed in, like, at least markets uh, collapsed in Europe because Tunisian is... Is, is Tunis been always independent? Who knows? Um, ammunition, sulfur, tools. Oh, yeah, we sold a lot of silk to the Brits, so let's try this again. Oil. Fabric is also quite cheap here. Oh, that's lovely. We can sell it directly to the Chinese. One more to the Belgium, so we might be able to make... Some steamers out here, some fertilizer. For the Qing, optimal. Yeah, we need to make sure that everything is halfway pr nicely priced over here. And then... I think I like now I've always oh, spent all our bureaucracy, but now I'll try to get a trade agreement with the Belgians. No, they don't want to, but then let's try actually to improve our uh, relations with them. Maybe they will want they will want to at some point. All right, back to the normal stuff. Okay, the it's either the effect of the trade routes or something else. I'm not sure. Or we got um, I don't know what it is. But we have our oh, deficit rule again. I mean, war is never good for any economy. Yeah, the rubber demand is pretty high, right? But actually, the textile mills want more rubber than the barracks. Alright. There's no really rubber availability. That's really annoying. Let's have a look if I can get something. Can I build myself some more? But I doubt because I only had it in the... I think I built rubber as much as I could everywhere. In, in Bainey, or just, just in New Guinea, okay. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, people, extend your rubber uh, production. I feel like they were at 6, 26 million recently, so apparently there's some decrease over here. At the revolutionaries of the radicals, I mean. Glass, steel. Are we still building glass also? Yeah, a little bit. What else to do? Rubber is expensive, we just noticed, yeah. Some more deals with some people, okay. No, we still buy the French rubber. It might get uh, nice at some point. How's it going in Brunei? Is the war still on? Yeah, it is still on. Are they actually they're fighting the war in India? Okay. But I mean, I can't imagine that the French will win this one in Sierra Leone. Okay, they fight in Indian Africa. All right. I mean, doesn't seem to be so problematic in the end, but. Yeah. I'm still happy I'm out. I think I also kind of want to reduce this a little bit here, my authority, since May I might bring the high men, they're losing the opposition, loses due to our lack in authority, so maybe with a little bit more we get the high men bonuses. Uh, what can we afford actually down here to drop? Um, how about the taxes? Is there anything we can drop? Oh, 40,000, this is quite a lot. No, then rather not. Let's not talk, uh, drop the taxes then. Let's... Can we... Uh, resource industry maybe? I don't know, also not really nice. Resource, resource, Hokkaido, Toshu, bureaucracy. I don't know, I like everything kind of. But we have to get rid of something. Are we still pushing some kind of... No, we're not pushing some idol some group. No, we're not. Um, anyway, still, let's try it then. Uh, Kyushu was our main... It was our main coal hub, right? So... Tohoku is also important. Where else did we do it? Um, resource, resource, resource... Tohoku Hokkaido I think maybe we can turn it off here in Hokkaido that wasn't so important. Taking the high mean not to plus five already, sad. Okay, I actually don't see so many lab I don't see so many levers where we could really work with or what we can do about it. So maybe I just keep it for the it was a nice attempt. And maybe we'll feel we'll find something to make them more happy at some point. Pretty sure about that one. Is there any reason why we kind of... Now the high men actually hate this one, okay. Wealth voted, no. And we get our trade agreement with the Brits back, I think, in... Let's do it. For the sake of... Uh, wealth and of course cooperation we shall do it and also I think it gives us some security um, because the Brits both the Brits and the Americans probably don't want to let's also get it here probably don't want to get in a war with somebody who has a trade agreement so it helps us improve this uh, it helps us to improve our um, relations with them as well the Belgians, the Belgians, okay, now we don't have enough influence right now. Are we still bankrolling them here, right? Siam and... I didn't really get a hook on them anyways so far. I think I was doing it in order to potentially get a protectorate up on them. Surprised why is it not there with the Siamese? Sometimes this game is still confusing me a bit. Um, I 
It needs to be not in a customs union, but the others are also in a customs union, no? That's weird. They are. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll keep on observing this one. Maybe because they're the overlords of these smaller ones, there might be a reason. Okay. Let's keep on uh, financing them nevertheless. Maybe we can stop actually in Peru, Bolivia. I mean, that's, I'm happy to have good relations with them, but Belgium was seemed to be more important. And so let's get out the trade agreement of the Belgians as well immediately. Since we were such happy trade partners recently, Montenegro is fine for me. Anything where Russia is getting involved, maybe here. Montenegro sounds like a Russian thing, but uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Korean Qing Dynasty, okay, that's nice, good for us in the end. Still, I mean, normally they should have been a subject, still I don't know why this didn't happen. Well, how did they develop, actually, since we freed them or released them? Still, did they keep the same kind of system as we did? Yeah, we, we changed a little bit around here, but more or less they kept the same. There are also... Oh, they changed back from the ethno state to national supremacy. Interesting. So, it would be kind of interesting to see if Josie on here, Korea has... Can I actually look at their population? Yeah, one I would like to know if Japanese people moved in there. Actually, one thing I wanted to check out anyways is because now we do have car halfway open uh, borders. I would like to know if the Japanese globally... Where they live. If anybody... Um, moved somewhere else, but it doesn't look like if there was no migration to the Americas or anywhere going on. Interesting. Okay. Let's speed up things a little bit to see how things are how things are going. What? Hardwood? Now we keep on getting the cheap hardwood, hardwood from the ro uh, Russians for sure. I f apart from this, yeah, like now this uh, deficit is going, getting better and better a little bit. So actually, let's switch more of these um, of our troops to bike messengers. Oh, I did it here. Yeah, Ryuko, wonderful. Actually, let's try on a full scale. Yeah, the Micronesians maybe not. This should be fine. This is Micronesia. My Micronesia here is changing. Is in Asia. Okay, perfect. Changing Guangdong. Yeah, our island garrisons can stay easy. I mean, if we want to. Okay, then if we're already looking at the island garrisons, maybe then let's do it right and also. Don't equip them with... Oh, actually, it's so human barracks. Let's, let's just keep them at one level. At some point, it's just going to be super annoying. Let's see how this affected the rubber price. Okay, it looks good. We can do that. Once our... I mean... Are we still building the engine factories? Because at some point, we need should get automobiles out as well. But even without the production of automobiles, you see that the engine price is still quite high. Okay, looks like we also have low market access. Um, these ones are quite not relevant for us right now. Chubu, once again. Let's then speed this up, as always. So, we're fine over here. Is the turmoil? I feel like it was at 42 or something. Is it going down and just changed? No, it's going up. Oh, it's shuffling in between. Up, down, okay. I don't want to curse it. All right. Language in the classroom. Miao students sometimes use their native language in Japanese schools. Some have called for teachers to penalize the use of these languages, forcing children to speak the official language of Japan. Japanese, of course. Uh, who is Miao? East Asian heritage? Wait, what? Where? Miao. Okay. Why do we have them? Um, okay, we can send to the proper one. 
or uh, okay assimilate linguistic freedom this is a kind of a global decision for us so not unimportant let's evaluate how this affect i mean assimilation I think they discriminated pops as far as I know. I mean, we can have a short check. Maybe it may be a nice idea to have a look at our population anyway. So 70% Japanese. And then we have these other groups, mainly the Hue, which is Chinese. I think they are definitely discriminated, discriminized, discriminated. So, sorry. And therefore, I don't know. I feel like they shouldn't assimilate. Can I see that somewhere? Um, let's do some research here. Or actually, I don't want to waste too much of your time. Uh, maybe you guys know it by heart and then you just confirm this to me or like write it in the comments if you know that. Or let me know where I can see the assimilation rate. As far as I know, discriminated uh, pops don't uh, assimilate. So either we have Japanese and the others not assimilating anyway. So we could go for this one. What does it effectively do? So the trade unions like it. Less radicals from discrimination. That's, I mean, actually quite interesting for us. And the Shinto don't like it, Saibatsu, Kazoko, Landwurst. Yeah, but with the others I can absolutely afford it. The ones that don't like it and the trade unions is actually not bad. So yeah, I think we're going to go for the linguistic freedom. Since yeah, we're in China, they can speak Chinese, that's fine. Uh, they just should be rice working and so on. <laughs> and are using our farms and plantations. So let's do this. I hope this should also... Um, help us out here a little bit. Um, I feel like did it just jump? No. Sometimes it is. <laughs> yeah, this I, this display of how the development is looks like it's going down slow slowly, while this one is increasing slowly. Yeah. We also got the oh, we're getting law enforcement out, so hopefully this will also be a little bit better. Um, yeah, so we can observe this and I feel like this, the discriminated one should go down now. And I, I, the trade unions are not angry anymore. Um, yep, then there's something else actually that I forgot. I wanted to check. Okay, we got the malaria treatment. If there was something we could use. Uh, no, no. All right, there's an embargo. Did the war already end? The French pieced out looks like it. And they're embargoing, uh, the French are getting embargoed by the Brits, so it looks like the Brits are going in for Brunei right now. Which was kind of expected, and yeah, planned is not the, wasn't the not, not really correct, because it's not like what we wanted to happen, but it was inevitable in the end. Okay, power plants are also being scheduled. Okay, we can declare more interest due to then let's go it's central asia i think one is missing and then we did the entire earth perfect probably due our navy build up which is happening parallelly or like we got some new ships out here we've got 240 flotillas russia's got 310 so we had number oh actually it's looking at here we overtook i think oh france was on two i think now they have lost a, uh, a lot here over here in I think we were always ahead of Russia in the prestige ranking. I mean, Great Britain is absolutely far away, but we're number two worldwide. And we have almost doubled the uh, GDP of Russia. Um, similar size of population. However, Russia is such a military juggernaut. Um, we're quite old, which is fine. I mean, they have st they're quite autocratic. Yeah, monarchy, autocracy is still in 1903. Peasant levies, they didn't, they still have served them, which works pretty well for Russia as well. You can play it like this, there's no uh, problem about it. But I still wonder how they finance this massive army, which worries me a little bit. Um, and with something else, we also wanted to get the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the destroyers out at some point. Maybe we shall slowly introduce them here at our main port. Yeah, I will. It's, we, we talk about military build-up and that's what we're doing, so I'm happy. Uh, it, wow, this was a heavy shock here for uh, Deficit once again. But we've got to do what we've got to do. Oh, the ironclads got way more expensive. So let's see what the shipyard... Maybe we can get some more extensive military shipbuilding in then. Yep. But also maybe we shall also get some extra shipyards out. 
And maybe also one over here. And maybe let's even speed that up. So these three factories... We shall see the effect quite early. Hardwood, very expensive, alright. Any chance to get more? How expensive is the wood at the moment? Uh, the normal, the regular one, also expensive. Oh gosh, and we've unlocked the dreadnought. So actually, just talking about <laughs> going up to dreadnoughts here shall cost me apparently 106,000 extra, okay. Ammunition, ironclads and radius, and we don't have radio spawn by now. Okay, we're a little bit ahead apparently here in the technology. We need to catch up with after the trench works, I guess. Which will provide us, by the way, a new type of infantry also. So with the trench infantry, maybe we shall be, we should be able to maybe overcome the technologically weaker Russians. Anyways, the Dreadnought. Um, by making a warship with only heavy caliber guns and steam propulsion, it is possible to overpower all other types of ship. All right. So we've got this uh, Dreadnought available. And I think actually this is once again a good moment to end this episode, even though we didn't make so much progress, but there was a lot of talking and a lot of thoughts involved. So a good half year, but a lot of stuff happening. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching. I hope you really liked it. If you did so, then really it would help me a lot. If you give me a like and a subscription, if you haven't yet, it helps me a lot while it costs you nothing. So thank you very much. And yeah, hopefully see you next time when we continue our build up and our ambitious program for the Japanese Empire. Thanks, bye, your strategy wolf.